All right. As developers, I think we uh, we tend to overestimate the importance of our time, and at the end of the day, we're all basically people. All right. If you're a developer, you're gonna have this problem where you'll think about a cool project. You'll say, "Oh, dude, you know it would be so cool if ChatGPT could search through your contacts," and then you go, "Oh." you know, this is going to take too much time, it's not worth it, it's going to be boring, I could watch TV, and you'll find a bunch of ways in your mind to avoid doing this. But in this video, I'm going to explain why you have to do these things, because even the shit that never makes you money, never goes anywhere, will go somewhere, dude. It's, it's insane, okay? So I just want to show you the latest example of this. I built a dashboard as an app, as a plugin for this uh, CRM that I use, and it's gone crazy on this on this group it's got 54 engagements 65 comments about half of those are mine but that's a really high number for this um, Facebook group and I've already gotten I mean I want I don't want to you know count the chickens before they uh, turn into eggs but I think I've already gotten like three or four thousand dollars in contracts just from this one post and this app might not even sell I might not even pursue this app or change it or work on it or add payments to it I might just keep it as a free thing that people use to learn about me. This is just one example of a project where I literally just posted about it on a whim. I was like, oh, I don't think anyone's going to look at it. And they did. And it has gone ballistic. I put, if, I, if I was actually looking for a job, I could put this on my website, on my resume, boom, bam, bow, on my YouTube channel. Like, There's so many places to talk about these projects. And it just lends more credibility to me if someone ever comes to me for like a contract that they want me to do. And I've done a few projects like this. I have this dashboard that I built. I built a system that generates websites. That has gotten me a ton of kind of connections and publicity. And neither of these things really made that much money, you know? Um, this dashboard thing hasn't made money at all yet. And that websites thing, basically none at all. But the connections and the experiences have been insane. So this is why I say, like, the other thing is, you have to get it off localhost. Like I remember I was working on this project and it was like on localhost and it looked sick. And I was like, yo, it's ready, dude. I'm going to share this. And then I realized, oh, it's still on localhost. And of course I'm using Next.js, So it takes fucking a hundred tries to deploy. Cause there's always some goddamn linting error or something that it wants me to fix. Even if I turned around, turned off linting, it had like a bunch of bullshit, but you have to get it off localhost, even in the most basic state. I mean, look at this dashboard, dude. It, it literally has a date picker, a map, and some basic information. Like, there's nothing to it. There's nothing to this dashboard. It's super basic. And yet, I've had a ton of installs and a ton of people reaching out. I mean, just look at these comments, dude. They're insane. Oh! Facebook is the worst fucking tool I've ever seen, dude. All right. Um, a few more comments. And we could see, bro, this is so sick. And I've gotten, like, a bunch of messages, people reaching out. And one guy was like, hey, can you pay me? Oh, dude. This babe, I gotta like her comment. Um, but, yeah, dude, it, it, it's just crazy. Like, you get so much publicity, even for these projects, that you don't think is that cool. And at a very basic state, if you can just find the right subreddit to post on, the right title for your YouTube video about it, you can absolutely make it pop off. And if it doesn't pop off, maybe that's feedback that people don't want it, you know? That's the thing is we always had this fallacy that when we're building like an MVP, like, all right, it just has to do this feature and then, oh, maybe it should do this one. And then by the time we're actually done with it, it's like a month later or two months later and we're not excited about it anymore. And it's too complicated. No one understands what it do does. You have to just show the basic kind of features. I've had more people asking about this map than the actual data itself. And I didn't expect that. I just put the map on here as like a on like a whim. I was like, maybe this would be cool. And apparently a shit ton of people thought it was cool. So never discount the features at the start. Just kind of build out the basic structure of what you think would be cool, what people might find useful, and then get it out there. That's the number one thing. Just put it out there and you'll see what people think. You'll see the, uh, the engagement. And that's the only way to go. That is the most beneficial strategy you can use as a solo indie hacker. All right, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to smash my dick, I mean the like button.